Hello, this video provides an overview of a sample non-classroom-based teacher NCBT work plan. The template for the NCBT work plan can be downloaded from the Office for Professional Development and School Supports website under the Teacher Evaluation tab. There, you will scroll down to the NCBT section where you will find the work plan template along with other various resources for classroom and non-classroom-based teachers. A work plan is a written plan that defines a big rock that an NCBT is responsible for. The work plan must align with a school and or district goal. Minimally, it should contain 1. An employee's name, school, and job title. In our sample plan here, I can clearly tell that this plan was developed by one of my support facilitation teachers, Connie Friend, at Community School. The second piece the work plan must contain is the school or district goal the work plan is aligned to. This will often be a goal from the school improvement plan, also known as the SIP. As you can see in our example, Ms. Friend has chosen a SIP goal that focuses on increased student achievement during instructional delivery through standards-based planning in professional learning communities. The third piece the work plan must contain is the big rock or area of responsibility the work plan addresses. In our sample work plan, Ms. Friend addresses two big rocks areas of responsibility. A. Planning with basic ed teachers and B. Effective instruction in which she has addressed three areas she will focus on. One, use of collaborative teaching models. Two, specially designed instruction. And three, ongoing assessment and data results. The fourth thing the work plan must contain are the action steps the NCBT will take throughout the course of the quarter, semester, and or year to achieve the goals and a way to monitor your progress throughout the school year. As you can see in our sample work plan, Ms. Friend has listed the action steps she will take under each big rock at various times throughout the school year. Ms. Friend has also included how she will monitor each step with the various evidences and artifacts that can be used. The last section of the work plan is the reflection piece. Here, the teacher will answer and will reflect on three questions. A. What data support my goals? PLC planning notes, reflection logs, formative and summative assessments, accommodation logs, etc. B. What were your strengths in achieving the work plan? And C. What areas of need are identified as a result of this work plan? Please keep in mind this is a sample work plan. Please take the template and make the necessary adjustments to best fit your role in the school. I want to thank Terry Korn and Salisa Cook for their work in helping to create the template and putting together the sample work plan for you in this video. If you have any further questions on work plans, please see your supervising administrator for assistance. Thank you for your time and have a great school year.